From the mighty rise to the foolish fall Every turn and every bend Captured moments never end What is that? Really? There's lines? You're supposed to stop at them lines? You're supposed to stop! Go on. What a first class idiot that is. Hello everybody and welcome to another video. I was asked a little while ago what was my all time favourite clip of me driving. It's got to be this one still. It really has, I mean, what a first class idiot this is. I just still cannot understand what his argument was here. It, the one thing I did hear him say was how fast were you going? And you can tell I wasn't going very fast at all. I just don't understand him blaming me here. I just, it's, it, the thing about this clip is it doesn't make me angry which normally nine times out of 10 clips I put on make me angry, but this one actually brings a smile to my face. Stupidity sometimes makes you smile. Really? There's lines. You're supposed to stop at them lines? You're supposed to stop. And believe it or not, the stupidity continued in the comment section. With what I said there, you're supposed to stop. They give way lines. We don't have to stop, but you should be prepared to stop. And he should have stopped and he should have been prepared to stop. He did neither. Um, and he has a go at me. So it did make me smile. It still makes me smile now when I look at it. So there you go. There's my favorite clip. Um, did you know it's only 124 days till Christmas? Let's have a Christmas miracle. But 124 days is still quite a long way away from getting a Christmas miracle. <laughs> yep, you've got the traditional I'm going to ride on the pavement. It's not a shared pathway and I will show you that now. But three out of four doing something correctly can't be bad. So we're just going to speed this up now just so I can show you the other side of the traffic lights where the bikes come off of the pavement onto the road because it's not a shared pathway as I say. I have to do this because a lot of people don't uh, believe me. So as you can see there, that's where they come off and give way lines are there like any bike is going to give way. Yeah, but um, further down the road here, she's obviously legal riding on this pavement now because it is a shared pathway but not back there. So she ruined our Christmas miracle even though it's 124 days till Christmas. Now in this clip, I'm picking someone up. I haven't got a house number. I've just got a dot on the app. No one's asking you to be that close to me, mate, are they? Oh, fucking hell. And obviously you can tell my reaction from seeing the dustman up there because sometimes they can slow you right down. But where the dot is on my app is right where them dustmen are. And the trouble is when people don't use a door number, you don't know where to go. You don't know where they're coming from. I don't know what side of the road I need to park on or anything. So you just got to go basically to the dot, which is right here. They could be coming out of that house to the left hand side where the bins are for all I know. They're not though. They're on the opposite side of the road and they come across the road with a load of luggage because they're going to Gatwick Airport. So now I'm parked on the wrong side of the road because they're coming across the road. They, they got quite a bit of luggage. Uh, there's two adults and two children, no hidden child this time. There's plenty of room to get by me, so I don't know why that car struggled to get past me. Um, and the dustmen are down that road, and I know them dustmen are gonna be wanting to come back out of that road, that's why they reversed in there. So as you can hear all my alarms going off, with, with uh, it drives me mad, this bloody car. Anyhow, I need to do a three point turn or somehow go back the other way. And that road next to me is perfect for me to just drive into and reverse back out and go back the other way. It's simple. 
but I've got the dustbin coming towards me and they're not very helpful. They are not very helpful. Well, I say they, it is only one person driving the bloody thing. Um, and the thing is, he can't go nowhere. He cannot get out of this turning with me parked where I am. So I'm off and look at this. Unnecessary, yeah. I mean, you even heard my passenger there saying how unnecessary that was. Um, and if I show you it from the rear camera, you'll see how far out he's sticking from the giveaway lines. Remember, he's not going to get round this bend with me here. You know, so I'm trying to do him a favour by getting out of his way. Maybe he actually thought I was going down his road and actually blocked me off. I mean, you'd think he'd know that you know, he's leaving me little space to actually manoeuvre there. I had enough space for me. I d it didn't bother me too much space-wise. It's the fact that he made it difficult. And look, and he's even struggling to get out of the turning. Some people are just so unhelpful on the road. So now we're coming off the M23 and we're going round this roundabout to go into Gatwick Airport. And I can tell by the car in front of me's positioning he hasn't got a clue where he's going, and that's fine. I've always said when you go to airports, people get lost and they don't know what they're doing. But I do expect them to know how a roundabout works. Priority to the right and all that sort of stuff. Um, he actually stops to let this guy on. We can all be lost, we can all be confused, but a roundabout, you stop to let someone on from the left? Please, come on. So we're coming back from Gatwick now, and I always go down the A217. As you can see, the right-hand lane is a right-turn-only lane, and it's the same coming the other way, except you get a self-entitlement twat that gets in the way of everyone turning right. He's been using the wax, hasn't he, all weekend? What an absolute arse. Why not wait until you can go? You are special. Only a fucking... Uh, self-entitled person would go right across people so they can't go. So we come to more self-entitlement, or is it just shitty driving? Um, probably both, to be honest. As we're coming up to Rygate Roundabout here on the M25 or the A217, which is what we're on, as you can see, both lanes are for the A217. Um... Here's a self-entitlement person right here that doesn't seem to get that his lane goes exactly the same place as mine, but he wants my lane. What's your lane? Now, I know the road markings are quite worn out, but you can still make them out if you really want to make them out, that is. I mean, they're better there. But if you think you are special, carry on with what you're doing. So we come to another special case. As you can see, there's a right turn only lane, but all the other lanes have got traffic in and some people are so special that they think that they don't have to wait in line. You believe that you are special, that somehow the rules do not apply to you. And can you guess the film that that is out of? Let's know in the comments down below. Oh, what a surprise. What a surprise. There's always one special one. Special! Now, I'm not sure if this one is special or just stupid. Um, this BMW right in front of us, there are two lanes that go right. It's quite simple. There's one lane and there's two lanes. You're in lane two, so stay in lane two. You're indicating right, which is great but you're coming around this bend here and you're going to the next lane. So your other indicator should be on at least. Yeah, um, just shitty, I think. Just a shitty driver rather than special. So now we come to the trainee Audi driver, you know, the Fiat 500. Um, this one definitely is special. She'll be pulling out from the right hand side. She's facing the wrong way. So she's facing traffic. Um, yes, yeah, she's not pulling out a, a great, is she? 
But then she has a little dig around in her handbag. Look, she's poking around in her bag and all that. I'm waiting, and the bus is waiting for her to get her act together to drive off. Yeah, so you why don't stay in the parking space until you're ready to move off, rather than keep everyone waiting. That makes you... Special! So now we're in Mitcham. Uh, there's never a dull moment in Mitcham. And we're looking over here in a second where a learner is going to be pulling over there. It's just the way it does it. It's not very good. Not not for me anyway. Um, it's the pavement that it's pulling over onto. Here it comes. I mean, you shouldn't be going over that bit there. That's <laughs> Really? And then like that, and then leaves it with his arse sticking out into the bike lane still. Um, I don't think that's very good at all. I mean, I know it's only a little thing there, but... Um, yeah, you've got to do better than that, haven't you? If you're teaching someone that is what you do to pull over, that's not good. So we go back to the front camera now and we'll speed it up because it's not long. It never is long to catch the next idiot in... Uh, Mitchum, I'm afraid. Uh, as you can see, we're down to two lanes because of the bus lane there, which is 7 a.m. till 7 p.m. for the thousands and thousands of buses that are not there. Yeah. Um, we've got a terribly parked van here. That's not good. But the right-hand lane, as we're looking at it here, is a right-turn only lane. Our lane that we're in on the left is straight on. So it's obvious what's going to happen. Normally the right-hand lane is a big long queue of traffic and our lane moves quite quickly. So you get normally get quite a lot of this going on. Now technically he's already gone through the red light there. Um, yeah, so did he know what he was doing or was that um, an afterthought? Got it wrong and did it after. But I think he's gone through a red light there as well. I don't think that would have gone green already. So... Yeah, not good again. It is Mitchum after all. So we're going around the one-way system when we come to this bit. So we're still in Mitchum on the one-way bit. When we are looking for someone... Special! Yeah, they don't follow the rules, do they? We know they don't follow the rules. So again, we've got the bus lane there, which is... I think this one's any time, I'm not sure. Um... But we go up here and we come to a set of traffic lights, which I think can be confusing to, for pedestrians because I've got a red light. We haven't got a red light coming towards us. Now, it's a good job that these two pedestrians were switched on. They knew it. But normally when you stop at these places, as you see the bike go through a yet another red light up there, people will cross. They see me stop here and they will cross. But there is no red light coming towards us. So, for me, that's really dangerous. Um, He's not there yet. And another thing, there's a bus lane to my left-hand side. That van has just gone through that bus lane. Um, is it allowed to? Now, it's obviously not a bus. It's a council van. But it's not from this council. It's from Epsom and Yule. We are in Mitcham. Uh, are they exempt from... Other councils? Answers on a postcard for that one, please. Now, in this clip, we're still in Mitcham. We're about to go to that one-way system where we first saw that bike. When we see something a bit unusual, this van here, uh, look at its front wheel. It's a space saver, but there is no tyre on it at all. Not one bit. There is no wheel. There's no wheel. There is no tyre on that space saver. It's running on the rim. You can hear it. Look at these two guys on the left here. Look at their reaction to seeing it. It's priceless. Did make me smile. As you heard there, someone using the horn on us because they wasn't fast enough away for him. We'll get back to him. I'm hoping you can actually hear the noise of this wheel 
hitting the ground. Now I'm hoping he's going to that tyre place there and it's not just a coincidence that he's just turning right into a no entry by the way. So now let's go back to the vehicle that used the horn on us. Yes, it's this one here. Um, bearing in mind he's in a straight on lane and we're all turning right. Uh, yeah, if you wasn't in the wrong lane mate, you would be in front of us all anyway. So sort your own driving out before using the horn on other people. So we'll speed it up here a little bit. And as you can see there, the lorry coming round the corner, who has obviously switched lanes because he was in the wrong lane. Although, where he's going, that lane goes to exactly the same place. It just goes a different way, but it goes to exactly the same place. But look how close he is to the car in front of him. It's a 20 mile an hour speed limit down here. Um, do you expect the car to drive faster than 20 miles an hour just so you can get to your destination quicker? For me, this guy knows exactly where he's going. He just thinks that this way is quicker than the other way. There must have been traffic going straight on and he switched lanes to go this way to his destination. And you'll see him in a second use the horn. There we go. Just because the guy in front of me was a little bit slow off. Like he's gonna be really fast off with no wheel on the front. Anyway. Um, we're still looking at that big lorry and just look how close he's going to get behind that car in a second. You can hear that car in front of me still. Now one thing to note here, as we're coming to the place where that guy turned right down the no entry, look what's next to it, a police station. He's driving a car with no front tire on it at all, going down a <laughs> no entry right next to a police station. Lawless Britain or what? Bloody hell. So now we're still on this lorry. Um, I don't know where it wants this car to go. They don't take the roundabout here very well at all, but forget about that for now. We're on about the lorry, how close it is to that car. And well done to the car, by the way, through not getting pressurised and getting right up my ass. It stays a fair distance away from me and carries on doing the speed limit. It's just this bully boy lorry driver that needs a bit of a talking to. It needs to have a little bit of adjustment in his attitude. Maybe some points and a fine might help. Now I find one of the most dangerous places to drive is a supermarket car park. We're looking over to the left as I'm pulling out of this supermarket here. Look at this car come out to my left. Jesus, whoops. Why not just pull straight out? Now I'm going to show you this again in slow motion and look at her head. Where does she think the danger's coming from? I mean, to me, it's obviously it's going to be coming from your right. But she doesn't look once, not once, before she pulls out in her toy car. I mean, that's your bread and butter driving there. You should be looking all over the place, but especially right when you're there. That's just so bad. Not a clue. Not a clue that I was there. Now, in hindsight, I wish I'd used my horn there just to let her know that, you know, you've got to be looking to your right hand side. It may have scared the shit out of her, but I think, you know, she needed to be told because she's going to have an accident there. She's definitely going to have an accident there. But an underground car park like that, the horn would have sounded really loud and probably give her a heart attack. But look at this next junction. She does exactly the same here. What if she does the same here? No brakes, come on. Wow. That is an accident waiting to happen. And the other thing to look out for here is that she cut both corners as well. She's cut that one and she can only look out the front window and she's cut that one as well. It's just, we're in the smallest car in the world. 
anyway guys that's it for today thanks a lot for watching i'll catch you on the next one bye for now